Hi, it's Joy Brooks from Email and Coffee. I want to talk a little bit today about tools. And the reason I came up with this topic was last night at 2.30, when I couldn't sleep, as that happens often to me, I'll come up with all of these creative ideas. And as I'm jotting them down on pieces of paper next to my bed, I think to myself, what's going to happen tomorrow? What's, what happened yesterday? What, what, what am I doing? Where am I going? How does this apply? These ideas, what, what are they for? And as I think about all of these things, I realize that I have a command of tools that I use that uh, I'd like to share with everyone. Because without these tools, I'd be um, scattered and um, a bit of a wreck. So um, I made a list of some of the tools that I use, and some of them are physical tools, and some of them are digital tools. So let's go through the morning, what I do when I get up. Um, I get that cup of coffee. It is email and coffee, y'all. And um, I'll take a look at my paper journal, and I do keep a paper journal over the years. And that has um, everything that I've done. I take notes. Um, I might even jot down numbers, stats perhaps. So uh, I've got an idea of what happened yesterday, what's going to happen today, what's going on tomorrow. The uh, journal includes, you know, business dates, perhaps somebody's out of town, coming back in town, uh, birthdays, things of that nature. Obviously holidays are in the calendar as well. So that journal is important to me um, on a daily basis and it's physical. I touch it every day. That's important to me. But I do do use Gmail Suite uh, for email. And because I have a number of different Gmail accounts, um, I pushed everything into one calendar. And that calendar is the next thing I look at to see if there's a specific meeting that I may not have put into my journal, to take a look at the week, to see how jam-packed my week is, to get an idea of my openings, should somebody ask. Uh, many times I've played with Calendly. I like that tool and I'm considering purchasing a subscription to it. Um, but aside from that, um, other tools that I use to organize myself would be Basecamp. I like Basecamp. I, I actually have it with two separate clients. I've used Asana and Rike. I like all of those tools, and if you're using anything like that with a team, it's, uh, it's usually a great thing because the old uh, adage, if you get hit by a bus, would anybody know what you're doing? Whether you work remotely or in a physical office together, it really does help somebody pick up the pieces in case a project requires some uh, immediacy, uh, emergency and, and immediate um, actionable items. Other tools that I use would be uh, for data. I'm very big with access. I do like access as a data management tool. When I'm using an ESP, usually the ESP has lots of tools, but there are times that, that um, Access will actually support some of those uh, processes and also works as a backup tool. Um, obviously, or not so obviously, I'll use um, Excel and I use uh, Google Spreadsheet for uh, sharing data uh, or you know Excel for um, emailing data. So uh, do you use those too heavily and always playing around with data um, in that way with access to Excel spreadsheet or to Google spreadsheets. Other um, cloud data, uh, cloud tools that I use would be the Creative Suite. Um, now a lot of people like, I'm sorry, Adobe Creative Suite. A lot of people will either love them or hate them. I happen to uh, use them, use them over the years, and I'm very comfortable with Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign. I'm comfortable with uh, Premiere and, and um, making PDFs and Dreamweaver. So the, the entire Adobe Creative Suite uh, cloud works for me, and um, I'm a fan. Sorry for those who are not. For meetings, uh, I will actually bend like a reed in the wind, and I use Zoom, I use GoTo, I'll use Google Meet, I'll use Skype, whatever somebody wants to use, even Facebook, <laughs> whatever somebody wants to use to meet uh, online is great for me. And some, you know, we know that Google, uh, sorry, that some of these tools like um, 
uh, Zoom will actually help you record a session. So those are really handy to have. I do have a subscription to both GoTo and Zoom because again, some people like one or the other. And I like to make sure that everybody's comfortable. Other tools that I'll use to share with, so Google Docs are great. Um, I can use them as editorial calendars and I can use them to share spreadsheets, uh, other things that, are, that we're using online actually um, updating. Each, each, each of us are updating. So any team member can update it, uh, put, put a note in there so that we're actually communicating with each other. And those come in hand um, with content, with stats, uh, with many types of uh, you know specific things and, and general things like an editorial calendar or the specific campaign content itself. Now I'll use something else um, now and again, the, the notepad, but I'll also use the um, online notepads. So when I get uh, to a point where I'm multitasking and I'm doing too many things at once, um, and I really need to prioritize. I'll focus on one thing, but I'll quickly jot down the things that I'm thinking in my head so that I have a, um, a list. And that's because I'm a big list maker and a taker. So I'll use notepads, but I'll also use uh, uh, a plain notepad online when I'm thinking, again, when I'm brainstorming either with the team or, or on my own, I'll use notepad online and I'll, I'll forego any formatting and just for straight text and I'll start putting ideas in there so that I can um, save it and, and perhaps, you know, grow on those ideas. So the bottom line here that you could pull it all together is that I'm pretty much uh, working toward some sort of a routine and a process. And it's important as a project manager to do process. For me, it's been uh, over the years, these tools that have um, been able to help me with my routine and my process and then also learning other tools for other people so that I can work and collaborate with them. It's important to, to put some process together for yourself because obviously you can't remember everything and however you manage that may be your own method as long as you're able to work with it and uh, it's comfortable for you. You may do it all online. You may um, do a, a number of different methods like I do, but it's very important to create a process. No process is the same. Your clients may, may end up generating a number of different sub processes and that's to be expected. You can't necessarily say, here's how I do it. It's my routine and you either fall into it or you don't. That's really not the way it works. You'll have a general routine that's, that manages how you manage your work, and then you'll have sub processes that manage each and every routine. And once you begin to get um, comfortable in different routines and begin to build different processes for different um, clients or different jobs, uh, job tickets as such, you'll begin to acclimate yourself and, and really begin to take on project management and business. So. I hope that these tips have been helpful, really just what I do, but um, you may find that other tools are more suitable for your business and your, um, your style. I hope um, you'll tune in again to Email and Coffee, where I talk about email. I might be drinking coffee, and I give you tips and strategies about email marketing. So happy email marketing, y'all. Bye.